Good morning and welcome to a Wednesday. Starting off with a look outside your weather window. This is a shot of Interstate 15 Clark Street exit here. You can see some clouds there on the horizon. Now we're starting off the day on the warm side. Some areas in the 50s, some areas in the 70s to start off your Wednesday. That means it's only going to get hotter from here. Heat advisory until 9 o'clock tonight. Areas shaded in orange stretching from the Upper Valley, St. Anthony, Ashton, Rexburg, Rigby, Idaho Falls, Blackfoot, Fort Hall, Pocatello stretching all the way down the I-15 corridor and then west through Burley. Temperatures in the middle 90s today. So right now at this is an airport temperature 58 degrees. We're about 12 degrees warmer in town. Sunshine light winds at six miles per hour in through Idaho Falls 56 degrees sunny and a light wind at five miles per hour. Here's a look at some of those temperatures as we mentioned Afton 48 Jackson 47 Driggs 57 50s in through the upper valley. Look at that Twin Falls right now. 82 degrees. Yeah, like I said, it's only going to get hotter from here. The American Falls have backed off a little bit by a few degrees in the 60s right now. Here you can see our storm tracker radar to the north through the central mountains. We're seeing some light rain showers pass through there, passing into Montana. And as we zoom out, we can see some of this monsoonal moisture that's circulating in through Utah, Nevada, and that's going to be pushing in through the south central portion of the state, pushing into our area this afternoon. That's going to give us a chance of some isolated thunderstorms in through the region for today. So we'll start off the day with partly cloudy skies after about 12 o'clock after about lunchtime expect some scattered isolated thunderstorms to develop off and on throughout the afternoon. 94 the high in Idaho Falls 95 for Pocatello 96 for Blackfoot some scattered thunderstorms in through the highlands in western Wyoming mainly for Jackson Afton area. Soda Springs could get in on that too with highs in the 80s for today and then mostly cloudy skies through the central mountains daytime highs approaching 90 degrees for salmon 91 for chalice 89 for Mackey. Then overnight tonight, clear skies through the central mountains. We'll be dropping down into the 50s, low 60s for our overnight lows. Stanley 46 for a low. Mostly clear skies in through the highlands of western Wyoming. Jackson, Afton hitting a low of 52 and 53 degrees, 52 for Island Park. And for the Snake River Plain, partly cloudy skies tonight with our overnight lows 57 for Idaho Falls, 59 for Rexburg, 60s for the Lower Valley. Now as we take a look at our Southeast Idaho Chevy dealer seven day forecast, chance of those isolated thunderstorms developing tomorrow after afternoon as well. And then here comes the hot Friday and Saturday. Mostly sunny skies approaching 100 degrees for a high on Saturday. Chance of some isolated thunderstorms then again on Monday. Blackfoot also some scattered thunderstorms tomorrow and Sunday with highs in the 90s, lows in the 50s and 60s. Idaho Falls, yep, chance of afternoon scattered thunderstorms, 95 the high on Thursday. Hot temperatures Friday, Saturday and into Sunday with highs 98 degrees for the next couple days, Friday and Saturday, 97 coming out of the weekend. In through Rexburg, you can expect a chance of an isolated thunderstorm in the afternoon, 95 degrees, 94 for Friday, and then approaching 100 degrees by Saturday. Hot weather stretching into Sunday as well. For the Teton area, chance of scattered thunderstorms Thursday, Friday, and Sunday with highs in the 80s, 90s by Sunday. And for the Central Mountains, you can expect a chance of sunshine, lots of sunshine Thursday, Friday, into Saturday and Sunday, but those daytime highs nice and warm, low to middle 90s for the highs. 80s by Monday, Deanne.